Hello boys and girls, welcome to Science in Daily Life. I am Sar Zamin. And I am Miss Riemann. Are you excited for today's lesson? Miss Riemann and I sure are. So grab your books, grab your pen, and let's dive right into today's lesson. But before we get into today's lesson, can you recall what we would have done in our previous class? Yes, we would have looked at diffusion. What about diffusion? We would have explained the importance of diffusion, list examples of diffusion in animals and plants, and lastly, we would have identified factors affecting the rate of diffusion. Now, boys and girls, our objectives for today are 1. To identify the properties of air 2. To define air pressure and 3. To list or identify the instrument used to measure air pressure. Now, air is made up of atoms of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and many others. Boys and girls, take a look at the image before you. You can see we have a pie chart here. On our pie chart, we can see a large amount showing nitrogen. Then we have less than a quarter showing oxygen, and a small portion representing carbon dioxide, water, and other. Now, air has mass. And because air has mass, it must have density. Density is the amount of mass in a certain volume, or how tightly packed the particles are. The formula for density is mass divided by volume. Since air has mass, it has pressure. Pressure is the force pushing on an area or a surface. Good. Now, air has pressure because air's mass has weight. And this weight is due to gravity. Remember, boys and girls, we know that mass times gravity is equal to weight. Air pressure is the pressing down of that weight of air on a particular area. Here again, boys and girls, if you take a look, we can talk about that, that pre pressing down of weight of air on that particular area. The weight of all of this air presses down on the surface, creating air pressure. Now, students of grade seven, what instrument do we use to measure atmospheric pressure? The name of that instrument is a barometer. A barometer is an instrument that measures air pressure. Now, boys and girls, I would like to look at what a barometer looks like. Here, you can see there's a scale, and you have different readings inside. But what is a barometer going to tell us? It's going to simply say, maybe the rain is going to fall, the sun is going to shine, and there are some numbers in that. We're going to dive more into that soon. So we have types of barometer. One of those types would be the mercury barometer. A mercury barometer is made up of a glass tube that is open at the bottom end. The open end of the tube sits in a dish of mercury. As the air pressure increases on the dish of mercury, the level in the tube will rise. Here again, boys and girls, an image of a mercury barometer. You can see as air pressure presses down on that um, dish of mercury, the tubing will either rise or remain to a level. When it's at a lower level, it's simply saying that there's a lower air pressure. As that level in the tube rises, it's going to say it's higher air pressure. And that's how we know if the pressure is high or the pressure or the air pressure is low in the atmosphere. Moving on students, the next type of barometer would be the aneroid. An aneroid barometer has a closed space surrounded by metal. Air pressure pushes the metal in and out. 
as the shape of the space changes, a needle moves to show what the air pressure is. Now, boys and girls, have a look at an aneroid barometer. You can see there's a vacuum chamber. There's a pointer that indicates what the atmospheric pressure is. Inside, there's a spindle and a lever. On the, bar the barometer itself, that's the aneroid barometer, there's a scale. And the scale is going to show if it's going to be stormy, if it's going to rain, there's going to be a change in weather. Is it going to be a fair day, meaning not so many showers or maybe light shower? Or if it's going to be a dry day, meaning if it's sunny? Now, boys and girls, today we talked about air pressure and the instrument used to measure air pressure. I want you to join us again for another lesson as we continue on making a homemade barometer. Until next time, I am Miss Freeman. And I am Sir Zamin. Bye-bye.